Thanks for checking out my updated webinar jam review. Before we continue, I do want to let you know that I have a special link, and if you click it in the description or the pinned comment, you'll get taken to a very unique page that looks like this. So many times in the past, if you wanted to get Webinar Jam, you had to actually buy it, but using that special link, you get a 30-day trial, and it's only going to cost you $1, so that's something that you can do in case you want to test it out. It's going to make it much easier for you to test drive. So with that out of the way, let's get right on into this review and talk about what Webinar Jam has to offer on the inside. So very straightforward when it comes to the webinar configuration. If you want to get up and ready in less than 60 seconds, you can definitely do that. But if you want to take a little bit more time and have more configuration, you can do that too. Let's go with the full configuration to show you how that works. And for this, you can do a right now webinar. You can schedule for later. You can just always keep it on. Really, the world is your webinar oyster here. I'm just going to do schedule for later as an example. All right, just a very quick example. This is the Webinar Jam review, how to leverage webinars to double your sales, and all the best tips for running successful webinars. You can add a thumbnail there. We're going to click on Save. Moving down, we have Presenters and Streaming Service. All right, and for this, you can do moderators and presenters. I'm not going to spend too much time on that. And of course, we have the streaming service. So in case you were curious about this, you can use Webinar Jam Live, YouTube Live, or Facebook Live. So let's just keep it on this. And pretty much the process for creating webinars with Webinar Jam is just going through each of these. And it's very easy to do. It's step by step. I find that to be a fantastic thing, especially if you've never used it before. I don't think you're going to have a whole lot of trouble. And that's always something I'm looking for when doing software reviews. All right, and for the webinar schedule, it's very flexible. You can do one single session, multiple sessions, or a recurring series of sessions. It's really up to you if you want to select a specific date. Let's do the 18th here. Let's say we're going to be doing at p.m. is fine, and we'll do three time zone. I am going to be Eastern. Let's say we want to add it like that. And you can go ahead and just simply add the dates as needed. You can do allow a time zone conversion to if needed as well. But let's click at that with save and do next. Registration is going to be pretty straightforward. If you've ever used EverWebinar or Akartra, which are owned by Genesis Digital, it's going to be a very similar thing. I will show you very quickly. These are going to be some of the page designs, and in my opinion, they are overall pretty simple and basic, but once again, in my testing, I have known that some of the most basic ones work the best, like exactly like this. So if I click on Customize... And we have a registration bar. We have a bubble, a button, or an embeddable form. Let's just say we want to do a button right here in Launch Builder. And there you have it. I love opt-ins like this, even if it's not for a webinar, because you have your main headline, you have a little bit more, and then there's the button. There's nothing else to distract them. Everything is above the fold, meaning they can see everything on the screen. And if you did want to edit anything, you go right here, you simply click on the pencil, and you can change it, obviously, to something great. I'm not going to go through and actually do it, but I think you get a good idea there and really not a whole lot to edit. That's a good thing. It's going to save you a lot of time. And like I said, the ones that are the most simple tend to perform the best because there's just no distractions here. Remember when you're creating a landing page, you want one focus. And what's the biggest focus here? Registering for this. Obviously you don't edit here, but everything up at top, including the headline and maybe a few more bullet points and just some notes are going to lead to the person clicking here and registering. Okay. So let's just say we want to save. All right, so there's that. There is enabling of split testing. <laughs> enabling of split testing. You can do split testing, so that's great. So if you did want to do that, uh, you can certainly focus on that as well. Registration fields, a lot of this is going to be business as usual. These are going to be mandatory. Normally, I don't like using a name, but it is a webinar. So if people want to chat, like it's going to be important that they actually have a name. You can also add last name and phone number if needed. You can auto subscribe for future webinars if you want to do that. There's free versus paid. There are going to be reasons why you might want to charge a registration fee. In fact, you could actually do that as a course. I've seen this before where people pretty much just pay to sign up and that's going to be your live course. It's not going to be like something where you pitch someone, obviously, because they're paying to get value there, but you can do that that way. Or you can just do free uh, new registration notifications if you want your phone or email to blow up anytime you get a new lead and you can password protect if needed. So when it comes to email gateways, you can just simply go with Webinar Jam, which is going to be the easiest. You can have your own SMTP gateway or your own autoresponder if needed. And of course, reminder notifications. These are going to be very important because they will help people go back to the webinar. Many times if they sign up earlier or maybe like a week ago, a few days ago, they're going to forget. And this is why this is going to be beneficial because if they sign up and they don't show to your webinar, then it's not really a good thing, right? You can get 100 people to sign up, but if they don't show up to the webinar, then it means nothing, right? So let's click here. 
And as you can see, we have some pre-webinar notifications. They can be sent immediately. We have another reminder one. There's also gonna be one that's going to be 15 minutes before. And you can change these around. These are pretty straightforward to do along with a post-webinar follow-up if you want. So it is nice if you wanna go the easiest route just to send email from Webinar Jam itself. So they do have these options. They are gonna be customizable where you can edit them and add them in. But I don't wanna spend too much time on it just because there's so many bells and whistles here. Just know that you can do it and it is pretty straightforward. All right, so if you're looking for some integrations with email marketing, we did talk about using Webinar Jam, but these are gonna be some here. Zapier is what's gonna really allow you to integrate with a lot of things if you wanna use that. Plus they have the third-party tracking systems. This could be like Google Analytics, Facebook ad tracking. So if you're running Facebook ads, you can do that as well. Let's just do this and go to the next. Here we have some aspects where it's gonna be mostly like a thank you page. So when they registered, it's gonna be default or you can send them to your own one if you want. You can also survey the individuals who opt in. So if you wanna do that, fairly straightforward, you simply click on yes here and simply add in your answer. You know, click on this right here, question, answer, so on and so forth. And then of course we have a thank you page design, very similar to when we're creating the opt-in form. So same thing here, same editor. I like keeping them very simple. If you look right here on the bottom, this would be where if it is password protected, you can put it there, but you don't always need to do that. I'm just gonna keep it as is and do save and go to next. And now we move on to the live section. So we have agenda powered by AI. You can organize your webinar agenda to manage your times and the topics you wanna to cover. Your agenda will be visible for your reference throughout the whole video. So this is gonna be beneficial if you need help with notes so that you don't lose track. Maybe if you find that you ramble too much, this will help keep you like, you know, straight in line where it's like first five minutes, only talk about this. Then this only talk about the brief explanation of webinars. Don't go in until your super pet story and all this other random stuff, okay? So you can do that if needed. It's gonna be powered by AI and it's just a little way to help you stay on time. And then we have autoplay. You can keep it enabled or you can disable it. So the video will not play until the users decide to click on it. And this is just gonna be an example of what it looks like if you choose to use one of those, okay? We have a countdown page design. Once again, very similar. So this is once they opt in, there's gonna be a countdown. I'm not gonna go through that since you've seen it before. We have the live room design. So pretty straightforward, not a whole lot of editing going on, but if you click on one that you like, you can look at it down here where your picture is gonna be there. You can change around the theme color as well, something like this. You can display a logo if you wanna do that, a title. So. I wouldn't say it's the most epic and grandiose designer ever, but I think it's gonna do well enough, okay? Where you can kind of change around the colors, maybe to match your brand, even add your logo. We have polls and quizzes, and I'd say product offers are gonna be a big one here. So if you wanna add a new offer, you can certainly do that. So how this works is that, you know, around a specific time, what's gonna happen is that this is going to be showcasing right here. You have your headline, you could say like an image of whatever you're gonna be selling. Say if it's a course, it'd be like the ebook cover or a video cover and so on and so forth. And then of course you would just add your text here. So click the add to cart button down below to buy this for $997. And this is going to be right here where you link to your checkout page. So a lot of people ask if you can use like Webinar Jam or EverWebinar with a separate checkout page and the answer is absolutely yes. All you're doing here is signing up, say with Webinar Jam, they're using the webinar and then you would take them to your checkout page right here and that can handle making the purchases, upsells, maybe putting them in a membership course or membership section so you can definitely do that. You can broadcast sales in real time, which is pretty cool. You can apply scarcity and of course even urgency in your offer. So that's gonna be something you're most definitely gonna wanna use, especially if you're adding offers. There's also video injections too, so I'll read through this because they explain it well. Video injections allow you to play video clip midway through your presentation. So this is gonna be great, say if you're selling something and it's like, all right, now it's time for testimonials. Instead of just putting it up on there, you can go to that video injection where you get a video of someone actually speaking, like doing a face-to-face, -face, you know, with a video, an actual real video testimonial. So you could put in something like that. Maybe you've already done a video where you wanna add it in, maybe for 30 seconds or a minute, showcasing something you're gonna be talking about that you've already done, you can do that as well. Then there's also gonna be file handouts. This is gonna be beneficial if you've ever seen a webinar where it's like stay till the end, and if you do, you're gonna get my free cheat sheet you know, for the best software tools. 
And what this is gonna allow you to do is that you can upload them as it says right here. Once in the live room, you can conveniently do so with the click of a mouse. So this could be where you add your free gift, your free cheat sheet, whatever it's going to be and that they can get it towards the end. And last but not least here we have the slide presentations. If you're planning on running a slide presentation during your webinar, you might wanna pre-configure it now and you can do that as well. So they are very beneficial when it comes to like the bells and the whistles and a lot of things that you can do, pretty much everything that you're going to need when it comes to running a live and successful webinar. So a lot to change around there and that's a good thing. This is once again gonna be the version where it takes a little bit longer to get up and running, but in my opinion, I think those extra minutes or 10 minutes or so are definitely gonna be worth it, especially if there's a lot of these little tools that you wanna utilize. All right, and do you want a webinar replay recording? No or yes, really up to you. I don't think it would hurt to do that because if a lot of people miss the live version, why not send them to the replay, right? So you can choose that as well. We can click on save, we can go to next, and that's how you can set up a webinar with Webinar Jam. Now there's another way of doing it, so let's go back home and do another one. All right, and now we have Express Configuration. So don't forget we did the full configuration. Let's just quickly go through the Express, and let's just say it's gonna be scheduled for later again. All right, so this is gonna be the basic settings. We just have our name, our title, our description, our presenter, and if we had another one, we can do that. Let's click on save. And with this, we can have one single session, multiple. This is gonna be the same thing as we talked about before. So let's just say that it's going to be on this specific date. And again, we'll do something like five. Let's do time zone of Eastern, let's add, and let's just quickly save this because this is what we've done before. And this is gonna be the same thing with the registration page, so I'm not gonna go over that again. Let's click on save. We have our reminder notifications. Once again, same thing, I'm gonna save this quickly. And just like that, let's click on finish. And as you can see, your webinar has been successfully created. So that was a very quick setup. Clearly I didn't do the emails and all that other stuff, but as you can see, it is gonna be much faster. So that's the power of Webinar Jam. You can take your time and really fine tune your webinar to help you make more sales, add more details, or you can just get up and running very quickly. Like if you're running late, that's gonna be very beneficial as well. So regardless of the route that you go, I think you're gonna be in really good hands with Webinar Jam. All right, so let's quickly take a look at the pricing plans of Webinar Jam. So if you wanna save a good amount of money here, you're gonna to wanna to go with the annual. And it just makes sense, if you know you're gonna be using a software for say more than a year, then I mean, it's just gonna save you a lot of money. For example, if you go with Enterprise here, you're saving $1,440 a year. Obviously it goes down, but let's go with monthly. So if you're just getting started, with Starter, you get 100 attendees. This is gonna be $49 a month and it's billed monthly, as you can see, so annual will save 120. So with this, some of the things that are gonna be different here is that you don't get automated webinars. It includes one host, you get 100 attendees a webinar, and one hour max duration. So if you're looking for more than 100 attendees, if you're looking for more than one host, and if you're gonna be doing webinars that are longer than one hour, you're probably not gonna to wanna to do this one. As I scroll down here, you're gonna see some of the bigger features here that are also gonna be included in the other ones. Like for this, you get attendee spotlight, you get the always on live room right here, you get the panic button, which is nice. Like it says right here, sometimes tech issues happen. Let's have an escape plan. So this is ideal for making sure that even if an unfortunate technical glitch happens, you always have a backdoor mechanism to save your day. So definitely things can happen with webinars. I've heard some of the worst horror stories and in the process losing a lot of money. So it's nice that it's going to be there, especially if you use one of the bigger plans. This also comes with a control panel. So this is ideal for professional users running large webinars that might require hands-on assistance from staff members. So if you have a really big team and you need that control panel, that's going to be in the main one right there, which goes hand in hand with just doing a lot of webinars. So from here, you have basic. This is probably where you're gonna to wanna to be in the beginning. Not only are you getting two hosts and 500 attendees and two hours max duration, this is where the automated webinars come in, okay? And if I click right here, you can see ideal for automating on-demand webinars and so on and so forth. So you can record your live webinars, then replay them using EverWebinar, the ultimate auto replay system. Now I thought about going in and actually reviewing every webinar, but I already have a separate review for it. So if you wanna watch that and see how it works, it's a fantastic software. I think if you like Webinar Jam, you're also gonna love every webinar, but you can just get automated webinars here if you wanna do that. So once you move on up to basic here, it's really about what do you need specifically? Do you need more than 500 attendees? Then you're probably gonna want professional. Do you, mean, do you need more than 2000 attendees? Then you're probably gonna want enterprise. And also aside from that, like I said, if you're knowing that you're gonna be using Webinar webinar jam for at least a year, it makes sense to go with annual because you can save a lot of money doing so. 
So with all that in mind, here's my closing words with this Webinar Jam review. So Webinar Jam wraps everything up with a solid finish. It's easy to set up whether you want something quick or fully customized. Big bonus, many of the plans now come with automated webinars, which makes things way smoother if you're into scaling. So if you're a webinar aficionado or you're looking to start taking webinars very seriously, this one's definitely a no-brainer. You can click the link in the description or the pinned comment to grab your 30-day extended trial, my way of saying thank you so much for watching this review. Of course, I do want to let you know if you want to watch that ever webinar review to see how that platform works, I will also leave that link deeper in the description. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy.